Hello and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and I've got a special guest today. This is Nick Larios with Winnebago Industries. We're going to be walking you today through this 2022 Winnebago Echo. This is the 22A. I'm super excited to be here today because I couldn't sleep last night. I got to tell you, I, I was hoping it would make it. I'm excited to show it to you guys and to actually finally get to see it in person myself. Uh, Nick, we'll start right up here at the front. Yep. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the uh, yeah, so uh, first things first, thanks AC, thank you TransWest for having me out here. Uh, we're very excited to introduce this 2022 product with you guys. Uh, just want to keep in mind, this is a pre-prototype unit, so there are a few things that will change when your uh, customers do get the, their unit. Okay. So, a um, few things we want to highlight on. We're going to talk about this Ford new Transit chassis. We're going to talk about some all-season capabilities, and as well as off-the-grid capabilities, some storage. Okay. Uh, that's big thing to hit on with especially with this type of unit so first things first let's talk about this uh, transit chassis <clears throat> technically it still is a class c motorhome a lot of customers are going to say hey right. is it a class b or a, a b plus no it is a class c because it's still a cutaway transit chassis but underneath the hood you have a 3.5 liter v6 ecoboost engine and it also has a 10 speed automatic transmission 310 horsepower and, and 400 pounds of torque so what does that mean AC. That means once I hop on the 25 here, that means I can get up there really quick with any other cars. Um, some of the safety features it has, adaptive cruise control, it okay. has um, lane keeping assist, uh, emergency braking, it has um, it has a bunch of different other items. Like we even install our own blind spot monitoring on here. So, and usually in a Class C, you don't see that. Right. So that's a huge step up for that. We also have tire pressure monitoring system. You have a maintenance and diagnostics on here. So the customer can have full control and they can see exactly what's going on and of course have all the safety features that you have in other competitors. Well and the safety features here obviously we got a lot of snow coming down today or a little bit of snow for Colorado but <laughs> it's a four season coach yep. the safety features out here definitely a big yes. a big plus. Yep exactly and, and also to hit on I forgot to say is but this is an all-wheel drive chassis okay. so you, no matter what you can you know it'll automatically be on but you can toggle that switch there's a toggle switch on the inside that you can be able to turn it off if you know we don't need necessarily to have an all-wheel drive capabilities on it. And it's got different settings? Yep, there is different settings. You have a slippery mode, mud and track, because we know these customers, they're going to get off the grid, right? right. They're going to go, they're going to hit the gravel roads, they're going to go off the beaten path. So what we wanted to do is to ensure that they had all capabilities and um, give you as much safety as we could with this unit. So we'll kind of start working our way to the back. Okay. Um, as you guys can see here in the typical Class C motorhome, right, you usually have about a 6 to 10 or 12 inch wing wall here, where generally this is about a 4 inch wall right here, you know, 4 inch gap. So we wanted to make this as sleek as possible, being able to be as versatile as much as, as possible as well. Um, we added on these aluminum extrusions. We wanted it to be durable. Customers are going to go off the beaten path, as we said before. and. Um, we knew they were going to hit tree branches right. and we wanted to give that peace of mind that if you if you hit some trees or you hit a branch not necessarily a tree but you hit some branches <laughs> right. you know you're not going to hurt yeah. your coach you know um so that's definitely a huge thing for here and we see that a lot when we get especially yeah. we get them in on trades yeah. you get scratches you're going to hit something yeah. inevitably no you're going to catch a tree branch yeah, exactly so we wanted to be as durable as possible when you're going off that beaten path so let's all keep working our way. As we see here, we have a PTL door. This is, uh, this is actually the same brand that's used on diesel pushers. Okay. Uh, big heavy duty door. So as you can see, big, solid, robust, um, reduces road noise. I, I did notice that when I got in it earlier. I mean, when you shut it, you know, it's kind of like when you when you get in, into a car and yeah. you try to shut the door and it doesn't it's shut. Sealed. <laughs> it's sealed. This is heavy duty. This yeah. is the door that actually shuts yeah. close. and. It, it, yeah, it's definitely sealed. Um, as you can tell, we don't have a window here. Reason why, we wanted to keep this unit as insulated as possible. Um, and of, of course, security. You know, what happens a lot of time is, you know, people break into motorhomes and we wanted to be as secure as possible and as well as insulation. While we're on the door, I kind of want to point out something because I noticed this. I've got three dogs. Some of the other coaches, you've got the little screen. Yeah. My dogs would push right through it. Exactly. This is uh, this is pretty solid. Tell me a little bit about the door here. Yeah, so um, we have a metal screen um, that's actually sandwiched between a regular screen mesh. So you'll have a metal on both sides and then the screen mesh on the inside. What I love about this door as well is that it's actually lo it can lock. How many screen doors do you see that it locks and where you can leave the coach, hey, you need to go to the restroom down there, or you need to go say hi to your neighbor. Right. We can leave this door open, get some ventilation in here, and still be able to lock the door. Nice. So it's huge. That is awesome. 
So, um, looking across, we have a 13-foot carefree awning that is um, controllable by the app. Okay. It does not have a wind sensor, but it is being able to control it that way. Um, so, it's, there is an option to actually get it deleted if possible, if the customer doesn't want it. Okay. That is an option as well. It's got the LED lighting. I can see that up here. So yep. it's LED perfect lighting for as well. a, a day that, like today. Yep. So let's talk about a little bit of the storage, right? With this unit as it stands, it has 63 cubic feet of storage. It's okay. huge, especially with a motorhome. It's you know almost the size <laughs> as a van, right? You know. So looking in the first compartment here, you can see here tons of storage. Um, there is an option as well, AC, to have a outdoor kitchen here. So. The outdoor kitchen will include a outdoor or a, you know a small 12 volt compressor driven che ice chest, okay. refrigerator, or freezer, a two burner stove. It also have a quick connect, a water quick connect uh, spout to be able to wash your hands. So you have wash. a sink basin. And a sink, you have a sink okay. basin as well. And this is the same material that they have uh, in the Solus. Yes, the Revel. A, yep, exactly. It's uh, it's polypropylene flooring it's really a honeycomb floor um, it's really good for durability and a thermal barrier um, for the flooring on that side yeah looks real easy to wipe off yeah very easy <laughs> to clean very um, exactly so yeah we can close that I want to kind of point this out look how thick that compartment door is yeah. I mean that's got to have some pretty good insulation what's the R, R value on the sidewalls here yeah so the sidewalls and the compartment doors are the same is there actually a six uh, value um, we wanted to again keep it as insulated as possible so the sidewalls and the compartment doors are the same R value so we actually just cut them out and we just make the compartment doors going back to that four season yep. capability folks out here in the snow yep. Uh, 110 outlets are located here. We also have uh, we have a coax connection and as well as a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter co connection. Keep going around. We have a Chuma Aqua Go. So this is a tankless water heater. Um, so necessarily it will have consistent hot water running through your lines okay. um, and don't ha necessarily have to waste any of the water. So there's different selections on the CP controller, which we can kind of go through on the inside, but this is just where the vent's at. So as long as you've got water, you've got hot water and this yeah. has what, 50 gallons of fresh water, yep. correct? Yep, okay. exactly. So we'll kind of hit on the, all the, all the good okay. stuff on the other side. Uh, and here we'll have our two 20 pound uh, propane tanks. How convenient is this so you can bring extra? Yeah, or, you know, awesome. you're going off the grid for a bit, or, you know, even just going to change this at Walmart. It's convenient. We didn't want you to have to specifically go to that campsite or go to that truck stop where, you know, you stop at Walmart and grab your groceries, you can grab yourself another bottle. Right, of just do an exchange and yep. you're ready And it to does go. have an auto transfer switch, so as soon as you turn both of them on, it'll automatically transfer over. LP Quick Connect on this side. So do some grilling. Yeah, so you can have the flames going over there if you want the propane yep. or you can just run an actual grill exactly i, I kind of want to point out this echo logo because that kind of stands out to me yeah. you can do a graphics delete on this correct yeah so this is the veridan um exterior graphics so this is the green one there is a raw sienna that's almost like an orange color um which will change these but yes there is a graphics delete you can necessarily take all of these decals off and it'll, you'll just keep the echo logo and then the winnebago logos okay Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So let's talk about the storage. The big, the big <laughs> meat and potatoes, right? This is what we're looking for. So we have a the large, our large pass-through storage that is uh, you're able to assess it from three different locations, both on um, each side of the coach and as well as the rear. We designed this rear so we can hold up to two bikes. So we, you know, we're able to stick two bikes in here. Um, we have Molly panels on here. We knew this customer is going to say, "Hey, I want to be versatile. Let's hang up our care with uh, our gear, carabiners, uh, ropes, first aid kits, backpacks, and this actually can be able to hold up to 50 pounds. You can kind of see this thing is durable. Yeah. I'm yeah, putting some definitely some weight <laughs> this is so um, on here as well. And you see a lot of these, these they also call them sherpas on the back of the revels you, yeah. they put them outside you can tie helmets you yeah, can do anything. a lot of stuff anything same flooring as we saw in the first compartment the one for the solace is the honeycomb flooring and we also added as a standard this um, this lining here just to easy to clean we wanted to be as um easy to clean that as well so we got tie downs we have l-track tie downs throughout the entire coach and they're also located on the roof as well so you can be able to tie them up up to the, the side of there fiberglass finishing on the inside for an easy cleanup you've got some outlets right here yep we have uh leds on each side usbs on each side and 110 outlets on each side 
very convenient. And then also, just to kind of point out, this is heated. There's a vent on the other side, so you can put your valuables in here, not necessarily have to worry about is it going to freeze? You know, if I throw up some bottles of water in here, or you know, is it going to um, cause any issues? Well, you, you can put know? fishing. I mean, it's long yeah. enough. Yeah. Uh, I, I can fit a lot of golf clubs in there, <laughs> a lot of spare golf balls. Yep. So when I lose them. Yep, exactly. So and you, you can access it three different points. Yep. And there's a nice little handle here. This is very convenient. Nice, and we've got a backup camera back here. Yeah, backup camera as well, ladder. The blind spot monitoring that we that we actually install on our coaches are located here at the end of the bumper. So once that, that uh, car comes up to at least this point here, there are signals and as well as a, a visual and an audio um, that will kind of um, give you a signal that okay. there's a car there, so. Nice, yeah, this is huge, right? Huge. Especially at, this, huge. especially at this um, length of a coach, you know, generally, you know, you're looking at a van wise, you don't have this much storage, you know, <laughs> right. so this is something that we wanted to definitely um, hit on. Your trailer hitch is rated to tow up to 5,000 pounds with a seven pin connector already installed at the, at the factory. So you needed to tow your car, you should be able to. Yeah, and it's got the... Uh the electronic integrated brake controller from Ford. Yep, and yep. there is an electronic uh, trailer brake controller on the inside of the coach. We'll kind of hit on some of the cab conveniences when we get in there. But yeah, so right here we have the other access. Another Molly panel. Molly panel. Molly panel, stand, uh, what it stands for is modular lightweight load carrying equipment. Used it, we pretty much kind of copied the the army uh british and u.s armies that kind of they hold their tactical gear onto here so we thought you know it'd be a good idea to kind of do the same thing so let's go to our service center oh thank you for that there you go. so i think you know as a class c owner one of the biggest complaints is i have to get on my hands and knees to dump my tanks we're here everything's at an ergonomic height um actually enclosed in a rotocast compartment so it is enclosed all of our tanks are actually um, installed above the floor so there's no tanks underneath there's no water lines running neath underneath with this unit you're getting a 50 gallon freshwater tank 50 gallon gray tank you know again hitting on the van stuff right. usually you get about a 20 ish on each side right. and we're here you have tons of capabilities of being you don't have to have that uh, anxiety and how long can i take a shower <laughs> or do i have to dump my tanks every five minutes right. um, so it's huge um right here we have a majority of our low point drain valves located in this compartment we have a water control panel on here as well as you can kind of label here uh, with a water spout and then a, as well as gravity tank. I'm so. glad you guys put this in here. Yeah. The, so gravity feed, so that way if you don't have a hose, you're carrying an extra exactly. five gallon bucket of water or jug of water, you can exactly. just pour it into here, it goes to your tank. I love the fact that now you can actually plug in your hose, mm -hmm. run it through here and mm -hmm. actually be set up to city water instead of having to fill it up before you can close the compartment. That's a, that's a, a exactly. big plus. So, and, and again, everything is heated, so all of our water lines and everything else is right behind here. We'll kind of show you on the inside where everything's kind of at, placed in the inside, but it's, it's very convenient. One thing that you don't see here that is an option is our bat wing awning, a manual bat wing awning. It's, it's actually a manual operated awning that wraps around the halfway through the driver's side all the way to the rear. Okay. Um, it wraps up into a bag that looks very nice. It's nice, again, it gives it a bit more of a livability on the outside, especially on the summer days. You can kind of you know, do some <laughs> grilling under there. You know, it's just, we love it. And it's, the manufacturer for that awning is, um, is Alucab and they manufacture these awnings for overland vehicles so um this is, they've been doing it for over 20 years so we definitely have been getting a lot of good hits on that outdoor livability with the extra awning on here and if you you probably watch the videos out there you, you can get online uh, we'll be getting those in and obviously there's an option i would actually if i was personally buying one i would get one i can see if it's raining especially out here in the summer if it's raining and you need to get some gear you can be protected from the rain yep. i mean a lot of really good yep. uh reasons to get that awning 30 amp um, plug-in so it's pretty uh, normal for that uh, this is a truma vario heat exhaust as well um, so there's a separate heating system on the inside of the coach which we'll get to that on the inside it just helps with uh it's high efficiency just you don't have to worry about how much amperage is drawing or how much propane is drawing i've been kind of testing this unit out for the last few days and um i'm on the same propane tanks the two of them for the last like seven days wow 
And you drove 1,200 miles to and get I've here? And I drove almost 1,200 miles. <laughs> All the way from Iowa to here, here to back. So we're going to keep moving. Now, this does have the light out here. Yep. I'm sure you've seen it before. When you're plugged in, this lights up so you know that you have power. That's important. Yep. 156 inch wheelbase. Okay. Something to point that out. And it's 23 foot, two inches in length, right? Yeah, so roughly you're at 23 feet okay. and three inches. You're looking at 12, uh, excuse me, 10.4 from the bottom of the tires, the top of the air conditioner, and 11.6 uh, in width. Okay. So again, and almost like a van. Yeah. So um, in here you'll find your black cassette toilet. So this just opens up just like that. Very convenient when you're doing some dry camping. You can kind of just pull this on out and then we can be able to tote this along. It actually turns into almost like a little luggage. So then we can kind of move it on. Perfect. And then just put it right back in here. And here you'll find your generator compartment. Is it? Oh, there we go. There's a 2800 watt generator that we are using in the Solus in the Travato, or Solus PX in the Travato. It's that new quiet, fuel efficient generator. It actually. Um, Perfect. It, it's almost right under the National Park Edition. Um, on the decibels on how loud it could be so we could turn it on the inside you won't even know that it's on we'll fire it up once we get inside because it is it's crazy how quiet it is yep so this is uh this is where generally our generator our excuse me our battery compartment and our inverter compartment so as you can see here this are not the correct batteries what's standard is one 315 amp hour lithionics battery okay. it's the same brand or the same manufacturer that we get our rebel batteries from um and then we also have an option for a second battery, which will be 630 amp hours. So what does that mean? You, they, you know, customers want to know usable watt hours. Right. We're right under the 8,000 usable watt hours. So when you see the Pier 3 system in the Travato, we're right under that. So if you need to turn on the air conditioner and run the battery or run the air conditioner off the batteries, which we can with that 2,000 watt Pure Sign inverter, you can run it roughly about four to five hours. And then it also has the alternator, additional alternator to yes. charge your batteries, correct? Correct. So what's standard underneath the hood is a Balmar 170 amp um, alternator across okay. the board. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, so yeah, you know, again, we're coming up. We, uh, we have our wheel, our wheel bases here, or excuse me, our running boards. Um, 75% of the uh, parts that we are put on this coach is we, we create in-house. So that's one of the parts here. Some of the parts on the inside, you can even go on the inside and look at some of the cabinetry. Uh, they'll always have a sticker on it. And you can, you know, you have, to, you have this coach for 20 years and you need the water tank out of this. I could build that for you. You can just build it. Yep. So that's one thing that we kind of separate ourselves. We're not an assembler. We're a manufacturer. Okay. Well, I kind of, since we're on this side, let's just kind of talk a little bit about the inside here on the driver's side yeah. so you got your fuel compartment yeah yep, you have a fuel tank here 31 gallon fuel tank uh we got the extended extended gas tank from ford on that instead of the 25 uh tons of pockets being uh tons of cup holders we have we'll kind of step on in here auto high beams we have um the auto headlights as well turn this bad boy on now is this this looks like a cell phone. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I think there's a sticker there that says do not do that. So here you can kind of go, go through some of the stuff here. We have a tons of different options um, across the cab. Settings we can kind of adjust. We can, you know, everything is adaptive cruise control again. So there's tons of different things that we can be able to customize this, co um, this chassis with. Now that alarm that's going off is because the passenger seat is turned around and yes, they don't sir. want you driving so that's down the highway Exactly. That way, so right? we make sure that we you know, hook up some safety features in here just that you cannot drive the way that way. Especially with the airbag here. If something happens, <laughs> you're gonna, you know, we don't want that to happen. Okay. Um, we have some toggle switches here for modes. We can turn it into a normal eco, especially today on a slippery day. We can, we can change that. Uh, mud and ruts and then tow haul. As well as we could turn on and off the the all-wheel drive system in here sweet well let's go inside so we yeah. can kind of warm up a little bit let's do it and give a different perspective now it's seven six from mirror to mirror and these mirrors do go in yes sir they they aren't electronic but we can't fold them in okay yeah I'm gonna go ahead and 
Yep. Go so. in there. I'm going to shut these compartments. Yep. So coming on in here first, I think the big thing we want to hit on is this flooring. This is actually a marine grade flooring that you see a lot in your pontoon boats. Easy to clean, uh, very durable, so you don't have to you know, have carpet or that vinyl where it's hard to clean as much. So you probably just to clean it, you probably just use like a little Swiffer or something? Yeah, I just, you know, use a little broom, use a little uh, Swiffer wet jet, and you should clean it right on up. Especially with this uh, snow, we'll be able to sweep it up real quick. Right here we got our standard controls. These are pretty basic. So you're going to have your awning in and out, yeah. your awning lights, and then your step on and off. So if you want to keep the step from coming in, opening and closing every time you open the door, and then your coach batteries here, and you've got some light switches. So it's pretty basic stuff there. Yep. And also here at the top, I uh, didn't kind of go over this on the outside, oh, but we're talking about some power. Uh, what's standard with this coach is 455 watts of solar on the roof. That's a ton. Yeah. <laughs> That's a ton. We have two 170 uh, watt panels and one 115. So totaling up to 455 with the ZAM controller. So off the grid capabilities, ton. Don't have to worry about uh, you know charging. And of course we could turn the engine on, but we have another alternate source here with that ZAM controller. This is our regular control panel. Um, as you can see, it's very user face friendly, you know, straightforward. You can turn the generator, you know, you hit this guy here, you can see the batteries. You can turn on the generator from here. Let's fire it up just so we can see. Yeah. How, let everybody see how quiet it is. So we're just going to press and hold start. And that's it. There it is. I mean, that is quiet. I remember the old one that we had when I was growing up. <laughs> they could hear you from a mile away, uh -huh. and then you just push you just stop press stop, and that's it. So very easy. Water pump switch, and then the tank levels. Again, you know, we wanted to give that customer the full capabilities or full, you know, of what they can see what's going on with the motorhome. We actually added new pressure tank sensors on here, so you can get one percent increments. So instead of getting that old three quarters half tank one quarter we could see if you have 75 percent water 50 percent gray tank you know how much of that capacity is in there that's really useful and so the water pump there's a switch here and there's also one in the wet bay right yes there's okay. one in the wet bay and there's going to be one in the bathroom as well okay uh here's your inverter controller up there all you gotta do is turn that on the inverter will run your major appliances air conditioner 110 outlets uh microwave the whole nine back to the off the grid that's awesome yes um uh, let's talk about some storage in here though um right here we have some cabinets what we use the magnetic holding system that we're using in the solace with the south co positive latches tons of interior storage throughout the coach that's tons of that we were talking about this one earlier you can probably put a coffee pot you can put a lot mm -hmm. of because it's so tall right? yeah and coffee pot good. in here you need a small little keurig um in here on this side you could be definitely be able to put your slow cooker in here uh, especially making some chili on a cold day this is a perfect day to do that huh? that'd be perfect right now <laughs> <laughs> uh, tons of storage up here same thing on this side 110 outlets usbs all over the place huge drawer in this one kitchen countertop this is actually the boho um, interior with the weather teak interior so you can kind of see that cassette blinds with the day shades and night shades very convenient I like those really um, easy to use yes I didn't hit on this on the outside but these are poly plastic um, dual pane acrylic windows what um, it helps with a the thermal barrier because you know when you have that slider glass you lose a lot of heat and you lose a lot of cool or a lot of cool air um in the summertime so we wanted to make these a standard across the board uh, what's actually nice about polyplastic is that if one of these locks breaks um or one of these struts break you know usually in the past you had to replace the entire assembly with, right. with polyplastic you could just buy this one part so it makes it very convenient for the customer all right, so what I'm going to do next is we're going to talk about this dinette. This is the same seats that we're using the Solace, but a little bit wider here at the base. Gives you a little bit more room. Uh, Three-point seat belts on each side. And then we also have a low and high child seat tether. Tons of space with a collapsible dinette table. And that looks a lot wider than the one that... Uh that used to be in the Revel that, that yeah. would flop up. So no, this, this actual table can hold up to about 50 pounds. 
Because we could stick a whole bunch of groceries on here as we're, <laughs> as we're loading up, uh, you know, from Walmart or, you know, from any grocery store that we use. But this is collapsible uh, from here. Um, as you can kind of see, this is, we could turn this into a workstation. We have USB uh, ports, 12-volt um, ports, and as well as a 110 outlet. I always joke with my customers about these seats. They say, can you sit two people? And I say, they have to like each other. This actually yeah, is pretty bad. roomy. I mean, you got bad. lots of room. And then you have, mm -hmm. with this seat here, you got a nice little living area. Yep. I went ahead and took off my coat because it's warming up in here. Yep, and, the, and both seats do swivel. So this uh, seat can be able to swivel on this side so they can be able to look on this over here. Um, the front cap, we have a one-piece uh, fiberglass front molded cap um, that has a bunch of bat insulation in here. Just again, all season capabilities, helps with the sound, helps with some thermal um, pockets along there. There is an option to have an entertainment system in here, which will have a 24-inch TV. You'll also have a JBL sound bar as well as a Bluetooth speaker. Now the R rating on the on the roof is what 17 or 14.6 right? Yeah, 14.6 so that's so typically you have a one um, one and a half inch sidewall one and a half inch back wall um, one and a half inch compartment and a three inch uh, foam insulated roof tons of insulation I, I i was telling you guys earlier you know i've been in single digits and this thing stood right next you know easy 70 degrees on the inside of here well and with the water tanks inside everything's inside yep. your valves, had a exactly right? a full full across the board you know i had a full tank of fresh water and i was you know not sure if it was going <laughs> to freeze right? but actually nothing not, no problems at all nothing froze over throughout the night this little lagoon table I set up, just so we can kind of show, this is really nice because you can use it as counter space. Yep, a kitchen up counter here. top extension. If you need a little extension, you can use it as a table here. I, it'll go up and down, yep. so you can adjust it. I agree. Um, I really like this. Yep. So no, it's it's definitely uh, we wanted to be as versatile as possible, and people are loving the lagoon tables. Comes off easy. You can take this off yep. as well, so there's nothing in the way, mm -hmm. but really easy to set up and. Take yep, down whenever exactly. you're not using it. I'm gonna put it back in the back. Since we're kind of working our way into the front a little bit before we head towards the back, uh, we do have the Sing 3 Infotainment Center. That's about a 9.5 screen. It does have navigation, Android Auto, um, Apple CarPlay. Uh, it does is also equipped with Sirius XM Ready. So it's very nice to have a nice big screen, especially when you're driving with a motorhome. So. What I do want to show here, um, as we start working our way to the back, yeah, I'm put this back. Yeah, not a problem. Let's talk about the bathroom. So you generally, in a, you know, a Class B motorhome, you don't have much of a bathroom, right? So in here, we can go, we can kind of see that we have a full toilet, sink, and medicine cabinet with a window. Looks like they forgot the shower. Well. <laughs> Let me kind of show you. So we're, we had a, our design team did an amazing job with an innovative wall here. They kind of you can what you can do is you can just pull on this, and now you have a full shower. So I'm a pretty big guy, and I'm going to kind of sit in here. So you can kind of get a good idea. I'm a five eleven. I like to say six foot, six but foot. five eleven and three quarters. <laughs> you know, pretty wide set guy, but I have plenty of room to take a shower in here with an oxygenic shower head and a shower curtain. So you actually get a full wet and dry bath in the size of a motorhome, you know, so. Well, when you're accessing the sink and you open it, you have a lot more room, which is yeah. really, yeah. I mean, that is a really- And we'll kind of get in there too and show you that. Really so cool once feature that's, there. So, you know, you need to shave or brush your teeth in the morning, plenty of space. Right here, wash your hands. Use the bathroom. There's a 110 outlet in here. Little window to air it out a little bit. And then another medicine cabinet. Now, very innovative. We, we This is huge to have a full wet dry bath in this unit. All right. 900 watt um, Greystone microwave with a gas two burner propane top. And here you'll have a 5.3 cubic feet 
Norco refrigerator. What I love about this refrigerator has a night mode. It kind of um, decreases the amperage it needs to pull, especially at night. You're not necessarily right. going in the refrigerator and grabbing food. I mean, unless you're me and getting some midnight <laughs> snacks. But in here, you can kind of see um, pretty decent size. I have some snacks in there now, some waters and some protein shakes. And um, the freezer there is at the top. And this is a 12 volt? Yes, it is a 12 volt, volt compressor fridge. driven refrigerator. So it's huge, especially when you're not leveled, right? You hear a lot of those two way refrigerators, you know, they're not getting cold, well, because it's a little bit unleveled. Where we're here, you don't have to worry about that. So keep moving along. Um, we have an Eric Cell. So it's a 13.5 BTU Coleman um, air conditioner, Coleman Mach DQ, uh, 10 DQ. This is your thermostat. Here's a CP controller with for the Truma Vario heat and as well as the Truma AquaGo. The Vario heat is something new that we're kind of introducing into this product. Um, new for us. It's just a very high efficient uh, furnace so it just pretty much sips off of the, the amperage from the batteries and as well as the propane. Uh, some light switches here. So here in the back, this is our bedroom. Um, what you can kind of feel, it's kind of hard for you guys to feel, but <laughs> for here, these are actually very comfortable mattresses. In the past, we used to get our mattresses from an outside vendor, but we're starting to bring that back. You know, we create half of our parts, let's create our own mattresses. And with this mattress, um, it has a serene foam, so it gives it a good um, feeling and it takes off excessive pressure off your back. It has a deep freeze to kind of pull back or pull some of that excessive heat and cool you down a little bit. This will, there's two twin size beds. These beds do convert into a full queen size bed uh, going left to right. Uh, we also do have frolly springs underneath them just to lift the mattress up a little bit, air it out as well as for comfortability. So let's kind of talk about more storage, right? <laughs> right? We want more storage. We need more and more and more. I need as much stuff as I could bring. So this is almost looks exact identically on the other side and I'll kind of move so we can get a good shot of it. Um, two full drawers in here. We have a full, oh, there we go. Hang up closet in there. And then we have another pocket on that side. But one thing again, as we kind of talked about in all season capability coach, everything is built above this floor. So all of our water tanks are, all of our serviceable items are actually located inside the coach. Right. Now, kind of show you guys the other side. Now, the covers on those mattresses. Yes. They come off. You can wash them. Yep. So they do. They can come off really easily. As you can kind of see, we can take this off. We can wash it. Uh, as you can kind of see here, these are the deep freeze layer. It's about five different layers on here, um, on this mattress as well. But yes, you can go ahead and take that off if need be. And I can tell you they're super comfortable yes. compared to the other ones I've yeah. been. Yeah, generally in the past, especially up. in the cold weather, usually, <laughs> um, you know, you sit on a mattress, right? And it's hard, as yeah. a, it's brick. So it's this has definitely been a good feature. So you can see here, more storage space. Okay. Um, in the back, a little bit further. Um, we have more storage on each side, 110 outlets, USB and 12 volt cigarette lighters. We put a little hole here so we know customers who have a CPAP machine, you can't necessarily, you have to make sure it's on top and flowing downwards. So we have that, or actually not the other way, it's supposed to be the other way around, sorry. We have reading lights. So tons of uh, capabilities. We have more, more 110 on this side, USB outlets, and as well as another 12 volt outlet on this on there. I tell you, I love the size of these windows in the bedroom back here. Yeah. I mean, these things are huge. Mm -hmm. Plenty of, you know, natural lighting. I'm a little claustrophobic, so mm -hmm. any natural light I can get always helps me out. Mm -hmm. And this is a small coach. I mean, a 23 foot long with three of us in here right now, I I can still breathe. I'm not, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not so claustrophobic right now that I feel like I can't breathe. This is, I can see me, the wife and the kiddos going on a trip in this and being okay. Mm -hmm. I really love that about this. And also what's pretty nice is, you know, we could turn this coach into a four person sleeping coach with an optional pop top. Um, at, at this time, we don't have the option on here, but right. you're able to have that option to bring the kids and they can sleep up top and parents sleep here at the back and 
So then you basically would have a Solus, but four by four and a little roomier, which would be yep. perfect. Exactly. Now I'll kind of convert this into a bed real quick so we could show you. This also could be used as a nightstand for in between if you guys are not having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the uh, storage in the back's for. It's exactly, the doghouse. The, the, the dog house. It's heated at least. <laughs> and just like that, now you have a full queen size bed. Yeah, that's a ton of room back there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we showed this. This is another storage. You guys got storage yeah. everywhere. Yeah, pantry. Nice little pantry to put your spices and your little snacks in there. We do have in the op, we do have two standards as well. One standard um, for a privacy curtain, is, so we could still use the swivel seats, is to block off the curtains here in the front, or the windows, excuse me, in the front. But what I'm going to show you is we made a standard um, is a thermal wall blanket. Now what that does is it pretty much blocks the coach from the cab. So, you know, we're not losing any power. Uh, we're not, you know, have to use too much power to cool down or heat up the, the actual cab part because you lose so much insul insulation that way. So all you do is just snap that on, snap that on. So again, going back to that four season coach, yep. right? If we're out in the mountains here in Colorado and it's freezing, yeah. uh, this will help keep the heat in, yeah. uh, keep the cold out. Yeah, and as well as even in the summertime, you know, we can help cool right. down the coach a lot quicker, um, especially if it's hot outside. So it's a huge uh, plus for this. We're very excited. It's actually, we've done some testing on it and it works pretty well. It blocks off a lot of the cold air, especially in this time of the year, from trying to intrude on into the coach. And that was super easy to do. You got yeah. a zipper in the middle, so if you easy. need to get into the, yep. the front of the coach for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. um, yep, max air vent on the roof. You know, you need some more ventilation, we have that. Um, that will be a standard. Now, if you get the pop top, that will be the pop top opening. So you will right. lose that. Right. But you will have a vent on the top of the pop top, like you do in your Solus. Yeah, this, I like, this was really easy to put up. I mean, mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah. Very easy. Kind of gives you a little bit more privacy. And that's it. The screen, I know we talked about the, the front up here when you were up there, but I like to point out that screen. That's an 8.95 inch screen, mm -hmm. touch screen. You've got Apple CarPlay, you've got Android yep. uh, navigation. It's pretty much got everything that you need and that you get in most of the other yep. coaches. USB ports, not USB type C's, yep. uh, which you have in the Revel and a couple of the others. Yep, and we have um, you know a few mo uh, multiple of them. You know, we have one here, we have one up at the top. Tons of storage up there, pockets everywhere. You know, there's again tons of storage on this coach um, and yep. capabilities in this. Got the cubbies up here. You can get a TV entertainment package yep. up front. Yep. Right? We did talk about yep. that. Yep. So. No, but uh, we're very excited about this coach. We know that this is definitely going to be a great mar um, great coach for this market, um, especially with the winners and um, <laughs> how, how that goes here. But, you know, also that customer who wants to be off the grid and wants to explore without being hooked up or need electricity where you have everything here in one coach. In combination with the all-wheel drive transit. So, I mean, it really is. I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited to actually see it. I was even texting my rep last night after hours, and, mm -hmm. and he did reply. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> uh, he's like, no, it'll be there in the morning. Uh, so just thank you guys. For, thank you so much for, you, for joining for us me. and for walking us through. Um, here's my contact info. If you guys have any questions, feel free to call, text, email. Like usual, comments, uh, suggestions for improvement, anything else you want to show. We will be doing another video when we get uh, an actual echo that's going to be on the ground here. Um, we'll do a, a full day of that. Uh, for now, we can place orders for you. Call me, text. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you, guys. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, thank you. Thank you again. I'm going to go outside, so I need my coat again. <laughs> it's warm in here, but... Let's do it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go do some donuts. Right? Let's go break <laughs> in this four-wheel drive. This all-wheel drive. Let's close this up.